Hi everyone, David Jackson here, slingandstonemarketing.com. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to enable the Cloudflare CDN on your SiteGround hosting account through the cPanel. If you do not have web hosting already and you are looking for a hosting company, I highly recommend SiteGround. I have a video where I talk about why I switched from my old hosting provider to SiteGround and one of the many reasons is that they offer free CDN with Cloudflare for each account. And if we go down here, you can see that each of their shared hosting accounts comes with a free CDN. So as you can see, it says that the free Cloudflare CDN makes your website load faster in any part of the world by caching its content. And it also protects your site by identifying and blocking malicious traffic. So this is just another layer of protection that you can use for free to protect your website and keep any malicious visitors from even accessing your website. So it's something that I definitely recommend that you should enable on your website just to give it an extra layer of protection and to make your website load faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and click on the login button so that we can log into our account. And you're going to go to the go to cPanel and click on that. This will take us to the cPanel homepage and to enable Cloudflare, we're gonna go down to where it says site improvement tools and click on Cloudflare. And here you see the Cloudflare features, the differences between the free and the plus plan, which is $11.95 per month. But they're pretty much the same until you get to the performance and security stats. You get daily stats with the free plan and you get hourly stats with the plus. You also get three page specific rules with the free plan and 10 for the plus. And you also get the web application firewall and advanced speed features with the plus account, but you don't get those with the free. But for most people, the free account is more than enough for what you need to do just to make your website load faster than it usually would. And it still gives you that extra layer of security. And if you want to get a little description about what each of these features are, you can just hover over the question mark and a little window will pop up with a description. So a quick little note that if you are going to enable Cloudflare CDN on your website, you need to make sure that your main domain name is using the www version. And if you try to enable Cloudflare on a non www domain name, it will give you a message asking if you want them to automatically configure your website so that it points to the www version. Then you are going to come down here and click on activate free, fill in your email address and click I confirm that I have read and agreed to the terms of service and click proceed. And it's going to take a couple of seconds for loading. And now, as you can see at the bottom, it says activate free. So we'll go over to where it says manage and click on that so we can set up some of these settings. So now you should be looking at the Cloudflare CDN account management page. And as you can see here at the bottom, I have my www version of my website along with a demo subdomain that I set up previously and I can activate Cloudflare for that subdomain as well. I go through how to set up a subdomain on the SiteGround hosting account in another video. One reason why you might want to create a subdomain is let's say if you want to host all of your images on an images subdomain. So it would be images.yourdomain.com and you want that also to be enabled with Cloudflare so that it will serve your images much faster. This is especially helpful if you have a lot of images on your website. So let's go over to the tabs and click on statistics. And this is where you can view things like your page views and unique visitors. And you can also see things like the number of requests served and the amount of bandwidth used. 
and up here you can see where you can change the date range where you can look at the last seven days, the last 30 days, uh, even the last 24 or 12 hours. So now we'll take a look at the settings tab and we'll go through these so that you can set it up just the way that you want. For the caching level, I'm going to set it to aggressive. And if you want to take a look at what that is, you can mouse over here to the question mark and it will give you a brief description of what it does. Then you can purge the cache if you want to get rid of everything that is in the Cloudflare CDN cache. Uh, you have the development mode, which you won't need unless you're doing development. Then the web application firewall is only for the plus account, so that will stay off. Then the Cloudflare security settings, you can see a description here. They have it defaulted to medium, but I like to have mine on high. Then you have the always online, which is already on along with the email parameters. And down where it says speed, the auto minify, we want JavaScript to be on, CSS to be on, and HTML to be on. Next we have Railgun, and we can take a look at what that does. Uh, it gives us a web performance optimization, so we want, definitely want that on. Then you have the SSL support. So if you have an SSL certificate so that your website connection is secured, then you want to change that to full strict. And lastly, you have the additional plus features, which is only for those who are using the plus account. So now your Cloudflare settings are all configured and we'll go back up to the top and click on the trust block IP list. So if you have any IP that you want to block, you can just add that here and click on block. Or if there are any IPs that are blocked and you want to add them to a trust list so that they are able to get through the Cloudflare CDN, then you can add them as well. So that is how you set up the Cloudflare CDN on your SiteGround hosting account. And I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. It will give me an opportunity to help others. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to click the subscribe button so that you will be notified when I post new videos. If you have any questions, comments, or topics that you want me to cover in future videos, be sure to leave them below in the comments section. And if you followed along with this video and enable Cloudflare on your website, use the hashtag GiantSlayer. It will let me and others know that you conquered this giant obstacle that was standing in your way from making progress. I thank you for taking your time to watch this and I will see you in the next video.